I greet you all in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. And yes, I do have a crackly throat. And it's just at a bad time for the marathon as well. But so, so prayers for a quick return to health. Welcome everybody to our Eucharist this morning. And if you're following from home, welcome to you also. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. And as we worship, let us pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now let's remember our imperfections in the sight of Almighty God. And give thanks to God's soul of the world, that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. And let us now confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments, and to live in love and peace with all. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbor in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now a moment of silence, and then our collect for this Wednesday following the 16th Sunday after Trinity. Let us pray. Lord of creation, whose glory is around and within us, open our eyes to your wonders, that we may serve you with reverence and know your peace at our lives' end. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now, David will come and read our first lesson. morning. The first reading is a song of Tobit. Blessed be God who lives forever, whose reign endures through all ages. Declare God's praise before the nations, you who are the children of Israel. For if our God has scattered you among them, there too has he shown you his greatness. Exalt him in the sight of the living, because he is our Lord and God and our Father forever. Though God punishes you for your wickedness, mercy will be shown to you all. God will gather you from every nation, from wherever you have been scattered. When you turn to the Lord with all your heart and soul, God will hide his face from you no more. See what the Lord has done for you and give thanks with a loud voice. Praise the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of ages. Glory be to the Father, and, and to the, the Son, and, and to, to the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it as was in, in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and shall ever be shall be, world, world without, without end. Amen. 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 
Please stand. The Lord be with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Then Jesus called the twelve together and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal. He said to them, take nothing for your journey, no staff, nor bag, nor bread, nor money, not even an extra tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there and leave from there. Wherever they do not welcome you, as you are leaving that town, shake the dust off your feet as a testimony against them. They departed and went through the villages, bringing the good news and curing diseases everywhere. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Jesus said, take nothing for your journey. Now, in the, this month, when children are leaving home for the first time to go to their studies at university. I'm sure there is not a single mum who would have said that. Take nothing for your journey. My niece has just gone to Newcastle to start her studies and I'm sure she was prepared and given absolutely everything she would need. I know she has because I've seen photographs of the room before, during and after turning a bare room into something that approaches home. So it's a something of a, a challenge if we have this instruction of Jesus take nothing with you for the journey because in planning we always think what we might need yep. for men spare pair of underpants for ladies an extra dress maybe a hat we do it take nothing with you for the journey in fact Jesus was preparing the disciples for a physical journey, but a physical journey like no other. Because he was charging them to take over the mantle, take the baton, if you like, of what he'd been doing to, to that point of time. And he wanted to see if they were ready while he was still with them. For us, though, that challenge, that command, can have a slightly different meaning. Because... For us, Jesus isn't sending us out, well, not many of us anyway, on a physical journey. Yeah, my journey took me all around Europe and into uh, Central Asia as well, but not all of us uh, travel so many thousands of miles. For most of us, our journey is just in the parish. Our journey is just being with people. Our journey is just sharing with people. Our journey is just sympathizing with people. Our journey is simply being. And so, for that sort of journey, we certainly don't need to take anything with us because what we need is within us. And what's within us goes with us wherever we are. And if we suffer from a painful back or a, or a knee or a hip, we know that wherever we go, that goes with us. Jesus is telling us 2,000 years later that for our journey, all we need is ourselves, our faith, our hope, our belief. And this Song of Tobit is from a part of the Old Testament that we very rarely read. And because it appeared as an alternative to the psalm and the old, uh, as the Old Testament reading this week, I deliberately chose it because the Song of Tobit is one of encouragement for us to go out with nothing but ourselves. You know, he, he starts off by 
preparing us and saying, yes, there'll be troubles and we'll stray, but if we come back, we'll be forgiven. And then right at the end, he says, just remember what God has done for you and give thanks with a loud voice. Praise the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of ages. If we do that, that comes from within us. And it confirms what Jesus said. Take nothing with you for the journey except yourselves. And so, as we do what we do around the parish, let us remember we don't need to take anything with us except for ourselves. And if it's no more than a friendly smile, then that is pleasing to God. Amen. And now we will pray. Let us pray. Dear loving Heavenly Father, as we worship you this morning, we pray that we may be willing and have sufficient confidence to show your love for us wherever we are. May we share that love. May we be your disciples however and whenever we are able. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now we give you thanks that we have this house where we may worship you. We pray that it may be a house of welcome, that those who enter may feel your presence and our love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now we ask for your blessing upon all that we are endeavoring to do to make this place a more welcoming and friendly and dry and warm place for worship and for fellowship. Bless those who have the responsibility to, to lead the planning and the implementation. And may we never lose sight that what we are doing is to fulfill and realize your kingdom here on earth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now we pray for all of us in Harrowweald, in this country of England and throughout the world. We give you thanks for what we have and we pray earnestly for those who are less fortunate than we. We pray for those who at this time are without hope or suffering from illnesses and anxiety. We pray for the people of Nagorno-Karabakh no longer able to live in their home area and trying desperately to escape with their lives and nothing else for the journey. May your peace surround them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now we remember those who we know and love who have particular need for your healing presence and the warmth of your Holy Spirit at this time. For those that we know personally, we hold them in our hearts now. And from our prayer list, we continue to pray for George and Nadine Baldwin, for El Coleman, for John Frith, for Angela and Ian Kidd, and for Doris Lubin. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And finally, in these prayers, we remember those who we've known and loved who are no longer with us. We give you thanks for their example and their inspiration. And we pray that their rest with you may be eternal. From those recently passing, we remember by name Brian Howard and Cyril Crook. And we pray for all family and friends who mourn.
their passing. And from our memorial book, we remember those whose anniversary of death falls at this time. Mar Margaret Eileen King, Colin John Olton, Noel Marsh Pittman, Jean Margaret Henry, Barbara Ann Baldwin, Anne Ray Swift, and Jennifer Mary Brooks. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. And so let us draw together all of our prayers, the prayers of our hearts and these spoken prayers, as we pray together. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. And we meet in his name and we have the privilege to share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. I wave you a sign of peace. Peace be with you all. And for those of you at home, peace be with you from the people of all saints. We prepare the table for the Eucharist. The Lord is here, his spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to praise you, Father, Lord of all creation. In your love you made us for yourself. When we turned away, you did not reject us, but came to meet us in your Son. You embraced us as your children and welcomed us to sit and eat with you. In Christ you shared our life that we might live in him and he in us. He opened his arms of love upon the cross and made for all the perfect sacrifice of sin. On the night he was betrayed at supper with his friends he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them saying take eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His body is the bread of life. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His blood is shed for all. As we proclaim his death and celebrate his rising in glory, send your Holy Spirit that this bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy gifts, make us one in Christ our risen Lord. And now with your whole church throughout the world, we offer you this sacrifice of praise and we lift our voices to join the eternal song of heaven, saying together, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And now as our Savior has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. The body and blood of Christ our Lord. our Lord, the body and blood of Christ 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 our Lord. The body and blood of Christ our Lord. The body and blood of Christ our Lord. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have taught us through your Son (coughs) that love is the fulfilling of the law. Grant that we may love you with our whole heart and our neighbors as ourselves. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we pray together. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. And now may the peace of God which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge of love of God and of his Son Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you who are here and with those whom you love wherever they may be today and always. Amen.
or say the bare minimum this morning. Uh, but thank you for being here. And please do stay if you're able for fellowship with coffee in the blue corner. And just to remind you that the Harvest Festival is coming up on Sunday. And uh, the Harrow Food Bank have got very specific needs and requests this year. If you didn't see them already, they're in the newsletter bulletin. And I think there's still some, there are still some at the back, Linda says. Um, there's one gift arrived already. We will receive gifts on Sunday. The preschool will come in uh, before Wednesday service and then after Wednesday. So the gifts will still be here next Wednesday. And then after that, we will take them to the food bank. So if you don't come on Sunday and would like to bring something, it'll be quite fine to bring them next Wednesday. Finally, I promise to get well soon so that I can run a week on Sunday. You supporting me financially wonderfully. Thank you. Everybody who has donated already, and if you haven't, Linda will be able to show you where the sign-up sheet is at the back. Uh, it's not too late. It's a week on Sunday, and I really will try to be better by then. And also, we have the night before, we've got a quiz. A uh, quiz with a fish and chip supper. And the two organisers, Sue and Philip, are here. If you haven't signed up and you'd like to come, they will very gladly take your names and add you to the list and your choice of supper, I think. Yeah. And is next Wednesday cut off, Sue? Do we have one week for the... For the quiz, what's the latest date? Uh, Next Wednesday. So one more week to think about it, but please do come along. And now, as we prepare to go back, carrying nothing but ourselves, go in peace, love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ, amen.